sweet and uh, this is the most dangerous stunt that I can do on the streets. I'm going to start here, finish down there, and what happens in the middle is always the unknown. But the plan is to run as fast as I can, get up to about 18 miles an hour, and then lose myself through a frame of 20 jagged neck teeth. And they're all real. So he's going to check them out. Alright, one finger. Really careful. That real metal? Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Real metal teeth. And I'm not gonna dive through it off first and do flips. I'm actually gonna run through these leg first. In the splits. All my body and heart fly through there in midair. Now hurdle number two gets even more difficult. We've got 28 metal knives. Again, I've got to get through there really quickly and safely. By safely, I mean without taking the skin off my back and without clipping my sack. Safely. <laughs> got to have a plan. Now, this last hurdle is the most dangerous one. This is the one where I've had most of my accidents. It's the fire hurdle. 20 hanging balls of fire, all soaked in paraffin. I'm going to set that on light with the blowtorch before I begin my approach. Folks, if you'd like to watch this, there's only a couple of things I asked from my audience today. First of all, when I start at the, at the top there, just a bit of encouragement, a bit of support, a bit of cheering, a bit of love, anything you feel. The other, the other thing, just to try and make this look a little bit more like a theater, because this is street theater, and I'm gonna do the stunt, but I need you guys to help me make it look a bit more like a theater. So could I ask you all right now, some of you have already done it. Could I ask you to come up to the rope line all the way around the edge if you'd like to watch this because it's going to get quite busy in a moment. And I want you, you, you guys were here first, so you might as well get the good places. Because once other people see a crowd, it brings other people, you see. Most of my accidents have been when there's a dog. She gets distracted, I hit the hurdle. I'm burning, she's stroking the dog. <laughs> this is Emma, Emma's my fire marshal, my partner. She's got the job of putting me out if I get this wrong. And we have had to do it in the past, so just be very, very careful, folks. And just, uh, I just want to say a quick thank you for taking a bit of time out of your day to be part of ours. Appreciate it. Tell you what, why don't we start right now? We've got a lovely audience here. If you guys can show me one time, nice and loudly, that you're going to be a great audience, I'll give you a great stunt. Everyone together. Let me hear you make some noise. All right. Here we go. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Here we go. I hope I don't put you off your food. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Can I get an album? If you're ready, everyone together, let me hear you all say yes. 
Okay, great energy down here. And the last thing I'll say is just a quick thank you, all of you, for staying until the end. For those who just got here, you've not missed anything yet. Don't worry, we're just starting here. Uh, my name's Liam. This is the most dangerous stunt that I can do on the streets. It literally is putting my life on the line three times, blindfolded through these objects, just to give you guys a good memory, or for some of you a good photo, or if you're quick enough, a good video. All I ask, folks, is that you remember it's a very dangerous stunt, it's a very difficult stunt, but it's, for me, it's more than that. Right now, this is actually how I make my living, and I'm proud of it, because this is, this is the best job I've ever had. It's the only job where, when I come to work, I get to keep fit and hopefully make a few people smile. Not everyone gets to do that at work. If you do, you're very lucky. And for 18 months, I know a lot of people had a tough time. We all have, not just entertainers. I've had no bookings, no gigs, no festivals, all canceled. But to be back on the streets doing something I love and making a few people smile is a great thing. And I really appreciate that. All I ask is that you remember, I don't actually get paid to do this. I do it for anyone who chooses to watch which today is you guys. And at the end of the stunt, if I'm alive and not burning or bleeding out, could I ask you all to do one thing for me as a performer? If you enjoyed the show, please let me know. I'll be standing with my blue bag. Don't be embarrassed, come on, say thank you. If you've enjoyed it, please put something in. Whatever you think this is worth, whatever you think I'm worth, I'll say thank you regardless. Is that fair enough? If you're not sure how much to put in, I really mean this too, no matter how big or how small the gesture, just fold it up. <laughs> worth a try. People, it's your show. You put in whatever you think it's worth. But have a great day. Thanks for being part of this. And uh, if I don't see you again, have a great life. If you agree with what I've said, how about one last round of applause and we'll light this up here in the street. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was a close.